So what do we know about our solar system? Other than the fact that it has thousands of asteroids, comets, 173 moons, and 8 planets. Or is it 9? 8? There is an asteroid that has its own moon. 243 Ida was discovered by an Austrian astronomer, Johann Polisa, on September 29, 1884, and was visited by an unmanned spacecraft, Galileo, on August 28, 1993. It takes 1,768 Earth days to orbit around the Sun, and it's shaped like a potato. The hottest planet isn't closest to the Sun. Most people think that Mercury, being closest to the Sun, is the hottest planet. But it doesn't have an atmosphere, which means it doesn't have anything to hold the heat in. This makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system because of its thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide that traps in the heat. Mercury and Venus are the only planets that don't have any moons. These planets are too close to the Sun, and if they did have a moon, it would have an unstable orbit, be destroyed by tidal gravitational forces, and be sucked into the Sun. The Sun accounts for 99.86% of the solar system's mass. All the planets fit together, as well as all of the asteroids, only make up about 0.14%. The solar system doesn't end in Neptune. The Kuiper Belt contains many comets and asteroids and spans for about 30 AU, starting at the belt's inner edge to 50 AU, its outer edge away from the Sun. But this is not the edge either. The Oort Cloud, theorized by astronomer Jan Oort, is a roughly spherical cloud of icy objects believed to be the origin of most long-period comets such as hale bopp Shoemaker-Levy 9, and Halley's Comet. It is also somewhere between 50,000 to 200,000 AU. There are five dwarf planets. Ceres, Eris, Makimaki, Haumea, and Pluto. Ceres is so far the only dwarf planet in the asteroid belt that is rounded by its own gravity. Eris is the most massive and second largest dwarf planet. It orbits the Sun three times the distance of Pluto. Makimaki has a moon and it's called S-2015-136472. One. Or Mark II. It's also the largest Kuiper Belt object. Haumea is named after the goddess of childbirth and has two moons, Hiaka and Namaka, also named after Hawaiian goddesses. Pluto is the first Kuiper Belt object to be discovered and is smaller than the United States. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. According to the IAU, a planet is a celestial body that is in orbit around the Sun, has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes hydrostatic equilibrium, or nearly round shape, and has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto met only the first two of these criteria. Clearing the neighborhood means that the planet has either vacuumed up or ejected large objects in the vicinity of the space or achieved gravitational dominance. Pluto shares their orbital neighborhood with other Kuiper Belt objects, so it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. There has never been a single image of the solar system that is to scale. Every single picture you've seen in books, class, or the internet are not to scale simply because our solar system is that huge. If the Sun were the size of a white blood cell, the solar system would be the size of the United States. To put things into perspective, here's a great video showing a team putting together the very first scale model of our solar system.